Hello friends, in this session I am going to discuss about what do you mean by software engineering and some important terms which are related to software engineering. So let us begin starting with software engineering. It is defined as the establishment and use of sound engineering principles in order to obtain economical software that is reliable and works efficiently on the real machines. So basically when you are making use of proper principles for the development of your software and you get an end product which is reliable and which can be installed on different machines then you can say that you have made use of software engineering. So all the activities that we perform for implementing the project and getting the final product they can be clubbed together under the term software engineering. Now let us discuss some key concepts related to software engineering. First one is the software engineering product. Uh, sorry, project. A software project is the complete procedure of development from requirements gathering to testing maintenance which is conducted according to execution methodologies in a specified period of time and in order to achieve the intended software product. So basically all the steps that we take right from collecting the requirements from the customer to implementation, testing, then delivering it to the customer, after that maintaining that software and all of this we are doing within a period of time. So this particular concept is called as a software engineering project. So basically whenever you are getting a project which is for developing of a software and you are collecting the requirements and till the delivery of the product along with its maintenance can be called as a software engineering project. Second key term is software engineering process framework. Now what do we mean by a process framework? Whenever we go for the implementation of a software, we need to follow proper steps. These proper steps are nothing but a part of the framework activities and this is called as a process framework. Basically, it contains activities like communication, planning, modeling, construction and deployment. Communication is the one in which we communicate with the client to gather the requirements. Planning is where we prepare a timeline as to when our project will start, when it will end and at what time which activities will be conducted by whom. So a detailed description about how the project will be implemented comes under planning. Modeling is the designing phase. That is you prepare the designs before the actual implementation so that you can find out the flaws and correct them before implementing. Next one is construction, which consists of coding as well as testing. So whatever you have decided about in the models that is implemented in construction phase and also it is tested for all the errors. And finally, the deployment phase is when you deliver the software to the customer. So this is about the process framework. Third key term is software engineering framework activities. The process framework activities which we discussed earlier like communication planning etc they are further broken down into smaller steps and these small steps are called as software engineering actions that are performed to achieve some end result next term is software engineering actions it is a set of related terms it is a set of related tasks next one is software process it is a way of dividing your work into phases to improve the design, product management and project management. So software process is basically that once you have decided what is to be done, you broke it and break it into smaller parts and those smaller parts when implemented that becomes a part of your software process. And last term is uh, one more term is software product. The final end product which will be delivered to the customer is called as a software product. It is basically a collection of programs which run on the computer. It also contains the documents in the form of hard copies or soft copies which are given along with the product. It's like a manual form of them. Next one is software work product. Software work products. The products that are generated at the end of the each activity are called as work products. They are collection of programs, documents, result and data. So as and when an activity of software engineering is completed, the output is generated in the form of a product which we call as a software work product. Next one is milestones. Whenever we are following a proper software development process, we have to decide the milestones. That is after how much amount of time, what amount of work should be completed that targets or that goals are called as the milestones next one is deliverables uh, these are the work products which are actually given to the customer so such kind of work products are called as deliverables 
And the last one is stakeholders. Stakeholders involve the people who are directly or indirectly related to the project. Example, it may have end users, project managers, clients, developers, testers, etc. Okay, so that was it for software engineering, the definition and some terms related to it. Thank you.